So the joke is there. Coach, take me out of the game. <laughs> hey, you know what I just imagined, bro? Imagine it's like the last game of the finals. I'm talking about we got like one minute left. Or like, imagine it's like, I don't know, just a regular game. And then you just hear LeBron, Coach, take me out the game. <laughs> yes, yeah, especially if you're up 20. I will be 20 so three minutes in. weak. I'm up 20 with three minutes left. Like, Coach, just LeBron take me just out in the game. bitch like, hey, Coach, yeah, take me out the game. <laughs> Bro, do like, you know I... how salty the enemy team would be if somebody said that, bro? Niggas in here like, bro, what the fuck am I? Coach, take me out the game. KD actually did that in real life when he was on the Warriors. We were playing the Wizards. We were up like 40-something with like eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. KD just made a wide open dunk. They didn't even play defense. And he told C. Kerr during a timeout, just take me out. That's how you gotta be, cause it's like, why am I still playing? It's not even fun no more, coach. Take me out. It's not fun. Like I'm up 22 right now with 250 left. There's no way they're catching up. Not that it's not fun, but it's like there's no need for me to be in the game. And a nigga, the nigga wonder why is we was hating on him when he moved to okay when he moved to the Warriors. Like, you didn't just take the fun away from yourself, bro. You took the fun away from the fans. You took the way fun away from Vegas. Like, let, me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Did you still watch basketball? No. In those three, in those three years? So you didn't watch the finals? I mean, I watched the finals. That's it. I watched the finals because my team was in there. Man, I, I, know was you watched, I know you watched a couple of regular season games. No, I did not mean, watch one Warriors se regular season game. Not Warriors, just basketball. Oh yeah, that's because I ain't gotta watch KD exactly. every game. I didn't like yeah. not every game. Was like, oh, I... but if, but if everyone's point is that he ruined the NBA, then why watch any games? If it's because it's like, but yeah. because y'all like to watch basketball, y'all gonna watch it anyway. So y'all complaining because he joined the team, but at the same time y'all gonna watch it anyway. Because it's this thing called competitive integrity. Nigga, super teams is not the way to do it. Then why why are why was Cleveland so excited for LeBron to come back? Why weren't they like, no, nah, you wanted to go to Miami, stay there? Because at the time of him coming back, it wasn't a super team and we just got done off a drought. Nigga, we but, need but, somebody. No, you you realize how we needed somebody? But listen, he went to the heat. To form a super team, and then yeah, we called him a bitch when he did it. So why accept that? So if KD were to come to the Cavs, y'all be like, "Oh, let's go." But yet y'all were y'all were mad at him because he joined the Warriors to form yes to form a super team. Yeah, like y'all not keeping the same energy. Y'all, yeah. yes, we are. Fuck you and your super team. Oh, you ain't got no super team no more. All right, bet. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Actually, no. You, I don't think you would care, but I'd have to ask somebody else. When he was on the, when he was on a Thunder, it was all cool. He, he, way he made his super team. James Harden just came up. Russell Westbrook just came up. That's how the Warriors was just eating. And then we just added KD. And then they just got KD. So you can't really blame us. Like you can't no, blame the Warriors. I can't I can't blame the management for doing what they're supposed to do. Go out and pick the best talent you can pick. That's literally your job. Like the Warriors, we we were the we were literally the Thunder. Steph, Clay, and Draymond all came in a draft. And then we just added KD. That's like if Steph Clay that's like that's like if the Thunder with KD picked up LeBron. Like nigga, what? Huh? Like I, that's I that's like, like if the Thunder knocked would, out LeBron, and whenever they I, went to the finals, I would, to, I would have the same reaction as when LeBron went to Miami. I would be like, "Wow, that's crazy," but I wouldn't be like, "Fuck, they ruined the NBA. I can't watch basketball no more. This is trash." Man, because I don't wait. I was LeBron like, the first piece of that puzzle? D Way was on the team. I mean, yeah, LeBron, not the first piece. Was LeBron the last piece of that puzzle? It was LeBron and Bosch. 
I'm saying, but then with Boshwin, I'm not like, mm, man, he's the best player in the league. It, nah. Listen, listen, listen. It was supposed to be LeBron and Carmelo Anthony, but Carmelo had one more year in his contract because he decided to stay with the Knicks. I mean, I think that would have uh, been fucked up. Yeah, the Knicks. That would have been fucked up. Because Carmelo was still lucky eating at the time. That yeah. would have been Carmelo ring. If Carmelo would have went, Carmelo would have been a ho-ho. <laughs> Carmelo I mean, would have been a ho-ho. He, he was more worried about the money. And Miami was. wasn't winning 93 or 73 games at the time. When KD joined the Warriors, he didn't care about how many games they won. That's all y'all bringing that up. Only, the only thing KD cared about, the only reason why he joined the Warriors is because he liked the way we played. He didn't like the way Westbrook was playing. But they was eating. That's that's y'all bringing that up. He didn't he didn't care about that. He it 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 so happened to be coincidental that we ended up coming back three one from the Thunder. And if y'all would have had a was, good two, who if y'all would have had a good two who had the best vision on court, then yeah. Because if y'all would have had somebody who's just an assist man, if y'all would have got somebody just like Steve Nash. That would have been OP, just serving assists to Katie and Westbrook. But no, nah, now Westbrook got to have the ball in his hands and he not finna dish it out to nobody. That's the point. I'm saying, you can either do that or you could take a little and just say, hey, bro, we need an assist, man. We can't have Russell up. Like, if we gonna have Russell up point, we got to have somebody. Like, Russell can't take it. He has to pass it to and, somebody and before that's why he takes That's the why KD left, because the Thunder didn't have that person. I'm saying, but Steph, that's not a hard person. Steph, to, a, like you see how Steph, Le it K but KD was tired because I'm pretty sure KD did that wasn't the first time that wasn't the only year KD was upset with Westbrook. I'm pretty sure KD was Oh definitely. I know there's probably hella points at the time where it's probably end of the game. KD like, hey Russ, give it to me, Wes, give it to me. Wes looking at him like nigga, what? I'm Russell Westbrook. Exactly. But with the Warriors, there's no problem because ain't nobody care who shot the ball because we all can shoot. He should have just let Russ do his thing. Russ was doing his thing. He couldn't shoot. But Russ could have handled the inside the while KD was handling the outside. That's the problem. KD didn't want that. KD wanted ball movement. He wanted, he wanted constant passing. He wanted constant movement. He didn't want what James Harden's doing with the Rockets. He didn't want to stand there and do nothing. Because you saw, even when they add Chris Paul, who is an assist man, they still couldn't win. Because you got you got Harden just holding the ball. That's because then, when, when you got Chris an Paul's assist man... Game, I'm saying... Cause when, you saw, when you saw Chris Paul out there when James Harden sat down, the Rockets were actually very good. But as soon as... Harden comes in. They're still a good team, but everyone's now just standing there watching. With Chris Paul, he's not. He can score, but he's not a scorer. That's what I'm like, saying. Okay. I'm saying. I'm saying. Not an assist man who's like, all right, now I'm finna pass the ball. I'm talking about a person who decides who to pass it to, either Russell Westbrook or KD. Because that way you can have Russell. Like, if you need somebody to hold on to the ball right now, hey, Russ, hold this ball, bro. Do your little dribbles or whatever. And then it's like, all right, bro, we need somebody to decide between KD and Russ. That's where the assist man come in. Get a ball to the assist man. Assist man going to make the right play. He's not going to worry about scoring it. He's going to worry about who's in the best position. Russ is not worried about am I in the best position to score this. Russ is a, oh, I'm finna, I got 30 points already, bro. I'm like, I'm hot as shit. He's not thinking about, not, oh, KD also hot as shit. Which is not a good teammate. I'm yeah, but if you would have had if you would have had somebody in the middle of that, that's not that's that's not that's just not a person I would want to play with either. That's why. That's why I I didn't fault KD for even leaving because he was gonna go to Boston or Golden State. I wouldn't have faulted him if he went to Boston because he's like, dude, I'm not trying to play with. But you. But if he would have, here's the thing though: if he would have went to Boston, everything would have been cool. Who they have? It nigga, we're not worried about that. At the time, uh, they would have yeah, been a contender. Is, they would have been a contender. The year before, the year before Kyrie uh, last year was traded. Yeah, yeah, so they would have had it still. They would have had KD. Uh, they would have had uh, Bradley, not Bradley Beal, but uh, 
They didn't so want to get the Marcus Smart. They would have Marcus Smart. Yeah. They ain't have Golden Hayward yet. Am I mm. thinking the wrong team? Yes, they did. They did have Gordon Hayward because they got him in the offseason. All right, so boom. They, have, they would have had Gordon Hayward, Marcus Smart, that, Isaiah Thomas, have. KD, and Al Horford. I'm cool with that lineup. I'm cool with that lineup. I'm 100% cool with that lineup. Wait, hold up. 2017. I'm trying to figure out. 2017. Not Al Horford. But they would have had some other They center. didn't have Al Horford at the time. They did? All right, so they would have had they would have had it have, Marcus they Smart. Have they they would have it get Gordon Hayward, Marcus Smart, oh, Katie. So in, so in 2017, 2017, 2018, no. What year did Katie Katie join in 2016, 2017? Right, because he we went to three straight finals with KD. 2016, 2017, 2017, 20, yeah, yeah. So 2016. 2017. You know what's so funny? Close. That's also an automatic win squad too. That's an automatic win squad. And yeah, I'm not mad at KD, that. With KD, they would have had KD, Avery Bradley, Jalen Brown, Jay Crowder, Gerald Green, Al Horford, Gordon James, Hayward, Isaiah Thomas, and Marcus Smart. No, they That's an automatic dub squad right there. And I'm not mad at it. But you're mad at KD for joining the Warriors. Yes. Okay. Because yeah, it's an automatic dub squad, but it's like there's a there's other teams that can play spoiler to that. They could have lost to Cleveland. Who who in the East? No. Yeah. Okay. And even uh, even then, Cleveland was the only team that would. At least it would have been two teams at that point, bro. Cleveland With the Warriors, the it's team. one team in the NBA. <laughs> it's one team in the NBA. Not on the That's conference, in the NBA, bro. That's not true, because the Rockets were competition for us. That, that was really the and only team. They ain't never win. That's not competition. It doesn't matter. They can they keep it close, but we all know what's up, bro. They're not winning this game. Okay, but, let's, but listen. At listen. the end of the game, listen, when they pull up. It's, listen, listen. Saying there's no competition, that's like... Oh, we swept them, or we beat them at five. No, all the series went to six or seven. The three, yeah, the three but times it was never them, two a... went to six, one went to seven, and then when before KD got there, they beat them at five. Yeah, but it was never a thought of, oh damn, it's it's game six. Shit, maybe the Rockets might win. No, no, but in, in game, it's game when, six. When it, was, when it was game seven. You were like, okay, it's game seven. The Rockets might have a chance. Yes or no? Might, but nah. I'm not going to completely count them out of this. When they same, got it's three the games, thing, it's, it's three to three. It was the same thing with the Celtics. It was like, okay, it's game seven. Obviously, everyone picked the Cavs to win. Everyone's like, okay, the Cavs are going to win. But when the Celtics brought them to seven, he was like, okay, they might have a chance. It's the same one when the Cavs played the Pacers. And surprisingly, the Pacers took them to seven. It was like, okay. The Pacers might have a chance, but obviously we knew the Warriors, I mean not the Warriors, the Cavs are going to win. It's like Dame Lillard. Yeah, Dame Lillard has a chance. It's not happening though, bro. <laughs> not happening. But but I'm, I'm just saying you can't say there was no competition when teams put up a fight. Like yeah, you put up. A, it's put like up a it's like John Jones versus anybody, nigga. It's John Jones. He's gonna get hurt. There's gonna be chinks in the armor. But it ain't finna happen, bro. The minute it get oh, yeah. kicks in the armor, he pulling out the elbows and it's over with. <laughs> That's all that matter. Like, oh, let's yeah, say still, they don't can, start the entire starters. All right, bet. Third quarter, take a break. Third quarter, somebody take a break. Or second quarter, somebody take a break. Third quarter, somebody else, star player, take a break. Fourth quarter, everybody take a break for like five minutes. And then we throwing everything we got at him. And you can't deal with that. <laughs> That means your other star player on the enemy team, the other star player on the opposing team, has to be a LeBron James. They have to play 48 minutes straight, and nobody else can do that it would have been but a, it LeBron. Would have been same, it would have been the same if KD went to the Celtics, but because of the narrative that the media put out, and that and that fans quote unquote put out with, oh, he joined the 73 9 team. No, no, no. He didn't just join the 7-3 and 9 team. He joined the 7-3 and 9 team that beat him. That he should have beat. Okay, but, listen, but listen, but listen. 
but if he had joined the Celtics, they would have had the same star power. But because it wasn't a 73-19 that he lost to, it would have been okay. That don't even make sense. No, you know what I can compare it to? I can compare it to if you – you remember that Boston team with Ray Allen, fucking – who was it? Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, uh, and them niggas, right? The old niggas. That's like if they beat LeBron and the next year LeBron go to them. No! 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 That's an absolute no-no. That's like if the Celtics would have beat LeBron and LeBron would have went to the Celtics. That's an absolute, bro. You're canceled for the rest of your NBA career. Your legacy is tarnished. Your legacy is tarnished at that point. Okay, but now, LeBron... now, 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 now let me ask you a question, though. If he would have joined the Lakers instead with Kobe... And with the same, basically at the Kobe, it was Kobe, Gasol, Kobe Dwight, Kobe Paul no, no, Dwight, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were, and when they Steve were all Nash, yes, Absolutely same star power. Absolutely not. That would have been a problem. Yes or no? Nah, because them niggas so, wasn't that good. But it's still the same star power. You still yeah, have, it's the same star oh, power. But you have you have a depleted, hurt Dwayne Wade. You have a Kobe who's pretty much two years removed. About to be removed from his prime. That don't even make sense. And that don't even make sense. Like, why did they bring all of those men in? Because Kobe was at that point was starting to lose his skill. It was. It was start. 20, Kobe was, was starting to have 20, that James Harden effect, bro. That was 2010. That was. Oh, 2010. Never mind, bro. Kobe was still a goat. <laughs> that was the year Kobe won the chip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if LeBron never went to the Heat and went to the Lakers instead. It was the same legacy star tarnished. Yeah, legacy tarnished. So why wouldn't it be the same thing? KD joined the Celtics with the same star power as the Warriors. Well, not the same star power per se, but an overall excellent squad with KD there. Because one is not the team that beat you. Two is not the team that just damn near had an undefeated season. That that's just. It's not. It's not the same. It has the star power, but it doesn't have. It's not the same team. But that's that's the media that put you, put that put that in y'all mind. If that's y'all, like if y'all, act, if y'all think logically, y'all would be mad. Y'all would have been mad to whatever team KD went to. If he had went to the Rockets, y'all would have been mad. If he had went on the up, uh, obviously if he went to the Cavs, Cleveland fans would have been cool. Whatever team he went to, the fans would have been cool. But the overall media and overall people would be upset. Oh, he joined LeBron. Oh, he joined Harden. Oh, he joined IT in the Celtics. Nah, because it's not the first time that shit's happened. We're used to this by then. We're used to that. We're used to like one, two, one, two, three players going up. But when you have the entire team, God damn, bro. I just, I just don't think that Katie situation got. That's like if you would have had Kobe, Shaq, and LeBron. And I'm not. I'm not only saying this because I'm with a, Dwayne uh, Wade. Because I'm a Warriors fan. I'm saying in general, like, of course I would have been mad if he went to the Rockets, but like, I wouldn't fault him. I wouldn't be like, oh, he a bitch ass snake. Oh, he a snake. I would be like, bro. There was the same thing with LeBron when LeBron left Cleveland. I'm like, bro, you got D-Wade everybody was funny at LeBron. Bro. I'm like, everybody was funny at LeBron. Boss. But at the same time, I wasn't saying, oh, LeBron turned his back on Cleveland. Oh, LeBron a bitch that. I was like. I'm like, bro, really? But at the same time, I understood because he he's trying to win a championship. That's a whole goal in basketball to win a championship. And if yeah. you can do it the right way, then because technically joining a team the right you know, way, Amari. No, no, no. What I mean right way. When I mean right way, I mean like in a way that you can actually do it. Where like you can actually do it. Like if you can get five all stars on a team, then. They would do it, but if they have enough, if the team has enough cap space, which is impossible, but let's say if that if a team has that much cap space, like if the Knicks were to get four all stars, which they probably could afford because they all their players are rookies, then I would be like, okay, that's not fair, obviously, but I can understand where the players come from because it's like, bro, we're trying to win, but at the same time, I can understand people saying, oh, the competition isn't fair. That I understood, but I, I did. I didn't like saying everyone saying, "Oh, I'm not watching basketball because we already know what's gonna happen." Yes, we already know what's gonna happen, but it's basketball. Basketball is basketball. Y'all gonna watch it anyway. Um, 
What you else? know what that's like, Amari? Y'all, y'all that's mad. like y'all playing mad. 2K. Nigga playing. All right, bro. I'm finna play with the Celtics. All right, I'm finna take this legacy. I'm finna take this All Star team. Nigga, what? When all five like, of your starters like, okay, are the like, All Stars, bro? That literally I happened to me. I, I played. I picked a random team. I think I was like the Raptors or something like that. My friend Julius picked the All Time Lakers. Of course, I lost, but I still played the nigga because I, I, I just didn't complain about it. And then when we ran it back, I picked the Warriors and I beat them. Simple. I'm saying, but it's not like we can just go back and pick it. That's not, you can't just say, all right, bro, next time we meet, we finna have a completely different team. No, my nigga. And then when you think about it, when we made this to the finals, the Cavs still had Love, Kyrie, in the first year uh, before Kyrie left, Kyrie left, it was Love, LeBron, the greatest of all time, and Kyrie, a top 15 player, top 10. Nigga, so it's like, maybe top, yeah, top 10. And then it's like, okay, yeah, y'all lost in five, but y'all can't say that wasn't competition because that's three all stars. Yeah, that's an comp. All, an all that's star, comp. An all star, a superstar, and a goat. That's but, not really comp, bro. Like I, Nigga, I they, where, they were barely sweating against LeBron, I, Kyrie, and Kevin Love. I understand where everyone's coming from with their frustration, but at the same time, the the judgment that y'all gave that situation just wasn't fair and. And y'all would have had different judgments if KD had joined the Cavs. I'm just saying. I only specifically. No, I feel like everybody else would have had the same judgment. Cavs fans? Hell yeah. <laughs> we haven't won a chip ever. <laughs> We're taking what we can get, bro. It don't, bro, that 100% matters. So if, so if, if KD, the Browns right now KD, picked up KD, Tom KD. Brady, nigga, hell yeah. Even though football, we have our all-star football, team, football, if football, the Browns football, pick up Tom Brady, football, nigga, football hell yeah! Football's unpredictable. That team could, still could have lost no matter what. No, yeah, I'm just using that as an example, though. If LeBron pick up but Tom if, Brady, if it's LeBron, like, all right, bro, you got LeBron, Odell, you got Jarvis Landry, you got Nick LeBron Chubb. To, if, a, if it was LeBron, Kyrie, KD, and Love, of course y'all gonna be happy because it's like, damn, we got four all-stars. How are we gonna lose? But that's how the Warriors felt. But at the same time, Y'all, y'all can't at one breath say, "Oh, KD is snake for leaving them and going to, going to a good team," and then have him going to another good team, and y'all be like, "Oh, let's go, we got KD." Like, no, you can't do that. Yes, you can. Here's the thing: the the team that who gets KD ain't saying shit. The Warriors, Warriors fans didn't say shit about that. Warriors fans was not arguing that. Everybody else was. If KD would have went to the Cavs, if we would have beat KD in the finals, and KD would have came to the Cavs, we wouldn't have argued that. Everybody else would have. It's the same energy. If you come to us, we're not gonna argue. That's but because you, you're you're you, biased. You, you're biased when you you're saying that. But would you understand where everybody's coming from, though? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I ain't finna complain, my nigga. We have a, we have like one of the top 15 greatest players of all time on our team now with the best player of all time on our team now with another damn near top 20 player and Kyrie Irving I mean I wouldn't say top 20 but in terms of skill Kyrie might be top 20 bro. <laughs> Kyrie might be top 20 in the NBA so that's bro. literally what the Warriors were KD's top definitely I would say top 15 top 20 all time then you got uh Steph, who's definitely top 50 all time, greatest shooter of all time. Clay, top three greatest shooters of all time. Draymond just being a great facilitator. And you got to remember, at the time, Kyrie was also one of the greatest shooters of all time. It wasn't like pre-LeBron Cleveland Kyrie. But my nigga Kyrie was just so much better. Kyrie was literally Kyrie was a top top three point guard in the league. It was probably top three or top four. It was Russ. It was Russ Harden. Harden's really a shooting guard. I think at the time he was playing point guard though. Harden, Russ Harden is a shooting guard. I don't count him as a point guard. They just put him at point guard. They just cause, put him, cause he can ball. yeah he can handle Russ. He, it was he's, he's Russ Steph. It was Steph Russ and Kyrie. It's still Steph Russ I, and Kyrie. Is it? I would say, I would say today, 
I would say it's Steph, Dame, Kyrie. Kyrie gonna have something to say this year. But at, yeah, at the time when KD joined the Warriors, it was Steph. It was Steph Kyrie. Uh, Steph, yeah, Steph Kyrie. Dan Russ. And Russ slash John Wall. Damn, that time, was. Nah, John Wall. Yeah, he was even 2015. I, at the time. When, no, that was way past John Wall Prime. John Wall stopped at like what, 2016? No, John, John Wall got injured last year. Was John Wall good last year? Because when IT was on the Celtics, I said the top three guards in the East was Kyrie, John Wall. Well, I actually, I, I actually thought uh, John Wall was better than Kyrie. I put John. A lot Wall, of people Kyrie did at the stuff. time. A lot of people was that was a that was a debate. No, it I was wasn't. Like, this, I was like, bro, this nigga John Wall is an eater. That was the debate after Steph and Kyrie. It was Steph and Kyrie, and then it was like after Steph and Kyrie, after niggas lost that battle. All right, Kyrie number two, and then some nigga just come out of nowhere. John Wall, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I I definitely was one of the people that thought John Wall was better than Kyrie at the time because he he was playing way better. And then uh, but here's the thing though, if Kyrie go back to like you remember when he won like the shooting contest, if he go back to that Kyrie, like that killer Kyrie, that on any team he plays on is a fucking god. If he get back to finals Kyrie or something like that, bro, it's so over with for everybody. <laughs> it's so over with. Bro, the Nets are winning. Bro, that's... I don't know. Because I feel like one reason LeBron and Kyrie work so well is LeBron is the assist man. Like, yeah, I know LeBron is an all-time great, like, scorer. But niggas forget, Kyrie's able to shine in LeBron's system because it's LeBron. Kyrie's, or LeBron's passing that bitch. Who they gonna have passing it in Brooklyn? Kyrie not passing it. A lot of the times they were saying, Kyrie's gonna hold the ball. But since it's LeBron, LeBron gonna get it. And LeBron gonna probably dish it back to Kyrie. But since it's gonna be KD and Kyrie, Kyrie gonna hold the ball. He gonna give it to KD. And KD gonna look for the opening. He not gonna look for a J.R. Smith. He not gonna look for a Kevin Love in a corner. He's gonna say, Kyrie's locked down right now. It's me. He's not looking for nobody but him and Kyrie. That's the thing on team, like on super teams that ain't LeBron. LeBron's going to dish it out. LeBron's going to work with it better. That's why LeBron's a go. He's going to work with it way better than, than KD will work with it. KD going to fuck it up. Like, if it was just KD and Steph, no, nah, not happening. That's cool. It's not happening though. But since it's KD, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and I think who they got, JaVel McGee, who wasn't bad at the time, Zaza Petrulia and JaVel McGee. Like, really, all we need y'all to do is sit there and just basically, you know, we're playing shoot around. Y'all are ball boy. Y'all are real life ball boys. They were real life ball boys. Their center was just a ball boy. Jamon Green was really just a ball boy. We just need somebody to get the re and pass it back out. That's it. Like, you know what their game plan was. Oh my god, we have three of the best. We have the three best shooters of all time. The three. Like, if there was a shooting trio that you would want on your team. Of all time, that's it. No one else is hitting more shots. Because you got Steph Curry, who's still like the man for that team at the time. Like, he's still the man. But then you got KD and Clay with unparalleled defense on the, on, like, what? 
Like you already know what happened. Like you know, K Clay used to Clay used to D on somebody like they was about to fight. That's how Clay pulled up his pants. Like nigga, we about to work. Like you either finna get his ball up or we about to work. <laughs> like that's how Clay played defense. Clay used to have the football lineman stance. I'm talking legs wide. Nigga, you gonna have to shoot. You not us. So shoot. That's why everybody hated that team. And I need to take this conversation. Uh, should I end my stream? I'm gonna end my stream now just so I can do it now. And I'm gonna restart it back up immediately. Because now I'm gonna need.